Hey YouTube, another video and uh, this is the third part of my printer plotter conversion. Uh, if you're following and you watch the two previous parts that I made then uh, you would already notice that there's a lot of changes that happened in this printer. That is unfortunately because the previous version had a little accident involving the cat and uh, the the whole paper feeding mechanism, the sensor, the plate that held the motor, everything got bent and uh, that sort of bummed me out but I've decided since I started I made two videos I want to finish it then uh, I'm going to do whatever I can do to get this thing to work um, to, a, to a point where I'm satisfied with the results and uh, this is the point, this is the video that's going to end this uh, three part tutorial so um, the demonstration again if you're interested uh, you're gonna see at the end of this video since uh, I can't fit everything here in the frame and there's a whole bunch of wires and the power supply that I need to move so at the end you'll see a demonstration if you haven't seen it already but uh, I'm gonna cover some uh, changes that I made here and uh, I'm going to start by saying that at this point I've reached um, a certain level of accuracy. I don't think that I can get this mechanism to be any more accurate than these results that I get. You can see uh, small misalignments uh, which come mainly because there is some freedom in the parts here. This pen mainly uh, when it goes down it, it will sort of move a little bit and then when it uh, is carried it realigns itself so you can see that in the in the end result here but other than that I plotted everything on a graph and um, it's it's is as accurate as I can get it uh, to be uh, if you're interested in the code it's definitely not exemplary code uh, that I made but uh, still if you're interested in knowing how I got all this to work and what what I did then uh, you can download, um, you'll find the link in the description to download the code and you can review it. I'm just going to cover uh, some changes that happened here. I'm going to cover them quickly. Um, as I said, the original printer, the paper feeding, the, the sensor here got snapped off and the metal plate that held the motor got bent. So the whole paper feeding wasn't working anymore. I took it all apart. I first of all um, started off by trying to fit a motor here but it didn't work and uh, I had to fit it here as you can see I'm using these, this stepper motor and it's one of these which um, I also got out of a, of a large uh, office printer. Um, at the back here I have a, a second stepping motor. This entire unit, the metal, the carriage, everything uh, comes from a totally different printer so this comes from one printer and this comes from another printer the belt here is also not original I, it's something that I had it didn't fit with this gear the original belt didn't fit so I had to use this one if you want to look at the back what it looks like so basically there is the stepping motor right there and it's all hot glued and fixed together the way that I got it aligned is by, cre I first of all removed all the plastic as you can see if you watch at previous version versions then uh, <clears throat> you'll see there's a bunch, a whole lot of plastic that was here and here and also here I hollowed it all out. I fitted the motor in this spot where the original motor for the paper feeding uh, mechanism was. It was the only place that the motor could fit because again this unit um, this is where the motor uh, is on this unit um, but um, this uh, this thing I I would place it align it and uh, make a bed here and on this side I would place a bed and then place this see if it pulls the paper um, correctly inside if it takes the paper right if it doesn't slip and so once I've reached a satisfying position, I tensioned it uh, using this spring right here and then just hot glued everything uh, together. I improved this, this piece uh, which is the pen and it is also uh, tensioned here on one side 
and then it just sits on the on the plastic. This is the pen. It's a sol solenoid, and basically when the solenoid engages, then it will lower the pen, and when it disconnects, then this spring would push the pen back up. And this thing just sort of rests on this uh, piece of plastic right here and is tensioned with this spring. So um, as you can see everything is clamped together, everything is tightened in various ways and forms so a greater deal of accuracy I don't think that I can get out of it but still I enjoyed converting it and I learned a lot from it so I recommend anyone uh, that is interested in these sort of things uh, to try it as well. Just um, to review uh, quickly the circuit that I used uh, to operate this since we're dealing a lot with the circuits let's see okay this is, um, this is the circuit um, I have two L297 uh, sir, uh, stepper motor controllers. I have two L293 under the heat sinks and both of these control the motor. Each one controls a, a motor and these are controlled using this Arduino. These drivers you can buy them ready made. You don't have to breadboard them but since on this channel um, I'm doing everything on breadboard just to give sort of an example and what, what it would look like, then, um, then uh, this comes on breadboard. Here I have a regulator, a voltage regulator, 7805, uh, tip 121, which uh, controls the, 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 um, the solenoid. Also, it's being operated by the Arduino. And that's about it. I've placed some um, capacitors um, across the rails at some strategic points here so that um, I've overcome some uh, coupling issues uh, but other than that the whole circuit here is just made the way that the L297 uh, shows on its uh, data sheet and that's it and just this transistor and that's about it but uh, at this point um, I would also make a video for um, um, how to make this circuit, one of my silent videos, um, I know that some people don't like them, but then again a lot of people do like them, so I like them as well. Um, that's it, I hope that you like this video and this project, and if you have any questions, specific questions, something you want to ask, feel free to leave them in the comments. I don't say this uh, that uh, often, but uh, if you like my channel, then please consider subscribing. O always makes me happy when new people um, come and show just that they enjoy my material, encourages me to make more. Other than that, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.